particles also have a lot of new rendering capabilities enhancement so I'm just gonna press 7 and open the render tree with my cloud selected and I've got the cloud shader where I've had new uh, BSP tree settings uh, I won't go too far into that and uh, now I'm going to select now the particle type available under this cloud and I've got the default billboard now available so if we go in the particle section of our uh, node shader node we've got billboard blob sphere and we've got a new sprite shape and gradient shader for the particle we also got color and we can also influence the color with um, scalar and vector value so let's take a look at the billboard for example where we have different geometry functionality we've got the square build, uh, square shape rectangular circular shape so let's draw a rectangle here and take a look at the result. So I can switch here and see the different result of the different shape of the billboard. Now I can use different uh, surface normal calculation using spherical or basically the billboard itself and different angle for the billboard. So what I'm going to do here is connect a shade node. I can actually I can go right from here. Um, and make connections. I'm going to connect shape, and you can see it connects a shape shader for me to the color input of my billboard. Now, in this shape, I've got different shape option available here. Let's I'm going to select turbulency. So turbulency has its own parameter. Now scaling parameter, low frequency, high frequency value, and let's lower a bit like that to get some nice randomized effect now in terms of color for this particle cloud I can now use the new uh, where is that here let's say gradient for example so I'm going to pick the gradient shader connect it into my input node here and I'm going to get the default black and white value for my gradient I can pick the smoke value and so I've got already a uh, predefined alpha value blending that I can play with if I want to so I'm going to tweak this a little bit and add a little more alpha channel in here now I can change also the evaluation range of this so by increasing it I'm changing the whole aspect of the gradient value over my cloud oh, this is a bit too much here and let's say something like that now I can uh, evaluate this uh, gradient upon a, um, a projection or use one of these uh, node here so I can use specifically the age of the particle to drive my gradient value or any of these options so I can use the radius density so if I choose density I'll probably have to go back in my gradient here and increase value somehow to try to get uh, something in there so something like this and now I'm having the density of the particle affecting the gradient value